Forgive me, master, for I have sinned. Lord Ryu, forgive me, I mistakenly put a letter to my family in this box. Gilbert, remember when we read that letter? It was actually a letter to his parents. That was pretty funny. Moles. There have been lots of moles going after my crops lately. I can hardly sleep, only getting about 10 hours a night. Tony. Wait, you're only getting 10 hours of sleep at night? That's ridiculous. I don't even get that much. Bonaparte is so cute. When he saw this box, he wanted to pee on it, but I stopped him. Tee hee hee. Better not let him pee on that shit, otherwise I'll throw that little bastard in the garbage. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play <laughs> Sugaden 2. Last time, um, I got to Banner Village, actually, and I told you I'd meet you there, but I figured since I was already here at the castle, I would just see if there's any <coughs> suggestions in the suggestion box, and there was. So anyways, let's teleport back to Banner Village, if we can. Wish we can. Cool. I was wondering if we could. Else I would have just re uh, teleported to Radat. Also, at the end of last episode, I showed you the Clive side quest progression. And one thing I should mention about that is that will be the that's the second to last cutscene. No, third to last. I don't know. There's only two cutscenes left. Let's just say that. And the next one isn't for a very very long time. It's not till right near the end of the game. So don't make a big deal out of it. But if you are trying to do it, make sure you rush through the rest of the game. You want to be at the end of the game before 20 hours. 20 hours is when it ends. So let's see what's up here. Huh? Whole lot of nothing going on up there. I saw that chick outside the inn. Maybe I should talk to her real quick. Hey, yo, bitch. You look important. It's Ellie. Good day, sir. Please stay at our family's inn. We don't get many guests here in Banner. Sure, why not? Hell, how's it going, people? How's it going? What's up? What's up? How's it going? Job? All Ko can talk about it these days is Lord Ryu. Who's Ko? I don't know who Ko is. Another carefree day. Can life get any better? Mm, I guess not. Uh, one thing I should mention, I have Anita in my party now, which is kind of a coincidence, but if you did not recruit Anita back in Muse uh, early on in the game, this is where she will be. She will be in the inn, drinking her ass off, just like she did in Muse, and you recruit her the exact same way. You go in and out of the inn, keep talking to her until you get her to recruit. That's all you do. It's the same exact procedure. There is one other way to recruit her. I will mention that later, but for now, let's talk to this little kid right here. It's Ko. Hey, hey, look, look, cool, huh? My mom made this. I'm General Ryu. Take that, Highland Dogs. Oh, you. I get it. You like General Ryu, too, huh? Hey, hey, mister. Have you ever actually seen General Ryu? Uh, no. Nah. He must be a cool guy, though. Who's in here? I don't remember ever going in this house. No one fishing today. I don't know. I just feel like exploring for some reason. I don't know why. Please plant the seed potato in a field. Oh, I think I, I think I actually got that last episode, didn't I? Never mind. I did go in that house. For some reason, I thought I didn't go in that house. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're heading through Banner Village. This is just going to lead us on a path that takes us to the next place that we're headed towards, which is obviously the Toran Republic, which we talked about last episode. That's why we have Sheena with us. Anyway, there's a handful of treasures here. This is essentially a dungeon, and it is a normal dungeon. It does have a boss, which I kind of spoiled last episode. The boss can be quite irritating if you are not prepared. I should have a fun time with it since I brought this strange party that I am unfamiliar with. Did I put Stallion back in the party? Okay, good. I remember last episode, Simone joined the party, and that's the reason why I went back to the castle. Um, but yeah. I put Stallion back in the party if I didn't do that on screen. And there he is. Uh, those girls, those Asian chicks we just fought right there, they can be kind of powerful if you don't kill one of them at a time. Um, if you let them all live... They will unleash some sort of delta attack, very similar to the Mage's sisters in the Final Fantasy universe. Oh god, then there's this battle. This is probably one of the more uh, difficult battles in this dungeon. The three samurai, three white tiger battle. And uh, these guys can uh, pack quite a punch. They deal out quite a bit of damage. I'll just say that much. And this is your first look at Anita and Sheena in battle, I'm pretty sure. And one thing I'm not doing, which I should be doing, is utilizing some of Luke's magic. I'm too used to clicking auto battle, though. I think I'll save it for the next battle. I should have did it in this battle. This would have been a perfect battle to use some of Luke's magic, but it is okay. We got rid of all the tigers. Now we just gotta watch out for the samurai. Quit making all my bitches unbalanced, bitches. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use Anita's rune either, the falcon rune. Uh, it's actually usable every turn for the entire battle. It doesn't do any, doesn't have any backlash side consequences or whatever you want to call it. 
biggest reason I want to fight what I'm going through here besides money, obviously, and is to level up my characters so everybody's on the same level. We gotta get everybody into the high 30s so we can handle the boss here. Otherwise, we're gonna have a bad time. Don't forget about having some Celadon urns or some other shit to sell when you get to Greg Minister. Oh, 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 did I spoil it? Okay, Toran Republic, whatever. Not really, I'm not really spoiling it, am I? I mean, if you played the first game, you should know where, where the Toran, like, what places are in the Toran Republic. You should know what we're about to witness. And if you haven't played, then I just said something you don't understand, so it doesn't matter. Did I ever give free equipment? I feel like I did. Okay, yeah, I gave him a shield and an armor, but I didn't give him a new helmet, I see. Okay, well, he can have the full helmet for now, then. We'll be stripping his armor later anyways, because we'll never be using him again after this. To be honest, I think I could have went back and switched him out. I honestly think I could have. I'm not 100% sure on that. When I was back there, I forgot to check, but I figure, what the hell. He's required for this story part of the game. Why not just use him? So anyways, let's grab this treasure, which is a stone of luck, which I will immediately use on Ryu. There's really no reason to use that on any of these stone thingies on anyone but Ryu. I have found zero reason to use them on anyone else. You don't use anyone enough to, unless you literally have one other character you like to use all the time and you love them to death. That's fine then, but Ryu's your main character. You want him to be the most badasses of all the badasses. Make him practically invincible. What's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with that. So yeah, these ladders are kind of a maze. Uh, they'll lead you to a few different treasures. This is probably the most annoying one that I'm going to right now. Not too big of a deal since I'm not running into any battles, though. Magic ring. Wow, like we don't already have access to many of those. But we can equip it on many people, so let's go ahead and throw one on... Let's see, magic plus 15. Let's give it to Luke. He's only got a guard ring. He should definitely have a magic ring also. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want to have their magic leveled up? Especially when they're a freaking mage. Wow, whenever I do happen to run into another battle, I'm definitely going to try out some magic with Luke. But apparently this place wants to be very, very nice with the battle uh, percentages, whatever. Okay, cool. I went the right way. For some reason, I thought I went the wrong way. Wing ornament. Do I have anyone in my party who can equip that? Nope. I think the only person I know of that can equip wing ornaments are Chaco and Sid. Anybody else? I'm not entirely certain. I'll have to try it out. I will have to try it out. Indeed. So anyways, let's go the correct way now. The way that will get us the F out of this ladder madness. And this is probably only the halfway point of this dungeon, by the way, if you were curious how far we are into this place already. You get another poison rune? Huh. I thought the only one you get in the game was from the rat. Or a drop. I think one of the enemies in the game drops it at some point. Huh cool so anyways let's keep going let's keep going and going and going oh god what am i I'm, I'm just having just so much memories of going back and forth through this damn forest this place is just it's a place of nightmares let me just say that because i've been back and forth through this forest hundreds of times in my sukunitsu career and every time i go through it again it feels like such a hassle even though it's not really that long of a forest but every time you have to go back and forth through it, it's like, oh, God, how many more times do I have to do this? Needless to say, there's there's at least one secret thing about this forest which I'm going to be showing off. Eh, should I show it off now or should I show off later? There's a, Maybe I should mention it now. All right, well, okay, over here on this screen, you'll see... Oh, I should probably point it out a little bit better than just doing it. Hold on. Let's fight these Asian whores real quick. Get out of here, you anime-looking Asian hoes. Oh no, the Delta attack that I was fearing earlier. Doom. They just got big-time damage on Sheena. I was just thinking, why didn't everybody go before them? But I forgot I don't have Nanami. Maybe I should have brought Nanami. Nah, this is going to be more interesting without Nanami, in my opinion. Diet lunch. Well, I'll take that. So anyways, there's like a secret path here. Uh, this is one of those paths, or this is the path, that used to give me friggin' nightmares because I could never find it. But once I finally found it, I've never forgotten where it is. But yeah, this is one of those secret, this is the secret path. You'll need to know about this later, but I'm going to show it now, just for the hell of it, pretty much. Uh, there, this Going on the secret path right now, it serves zero purpose other than if you're curious and you happen to find it on accident on your own. It's, it's literally on that first little, as soon as you get up to the top of the ladder bridge, or the ladder climbing part, 
It's just the first indent down in the forest. You just go down. Anyway, this takes you to Rakaku Hamlet, which is a secret city. But apparently, we're a spy! A spy! Bitch, we already gave up our spying days. Do you expect me to believe you just accidentally stumbled across a town as well hidden as Rakaku? Well, yeah, that's what happened. Well, on closer inspection, you're just a harmless kid. Sasuke, Mando, escort him back to the road. Yes, sir. And so, we are instantly kicked out of Rakaku Hamlet. It's the secret society of ninjas is what it is, but we're not allowed to go there yet. Just remember that place for later. We'll be back. We'll be back. So anyways, let's continue on through the forest, shall we? Shall we? And I'm literally going to fight everything I run into because I need the XP and the money. 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 Doop 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 doop. XP and the uh, uh, money. Yeah. Suck on that. You know, for as much as I hate Freed, he doesn't have the weakest strength in the world. He's just so mediocre. I think that's what it is, man. When you're just so mediocre, it's just, that's, that's the equivalent of sucking. Like, stop being so mediocre, game. Or freed, I mean. Freedy, my boy. Stop being so mediocre. Hey, hey. How dare you almost kill Sheena, you son of a bitch. Huh, should I use up some healing items? I almost wasted all my damn mega medicines already. Ooh, let's use some of this diet lunch I picked up for free. Why not? We're not going to use it for anything else. Other than healing and selling. See, how many more treasures do we have here? We got the magic ring. We got the poison rune. I don't remember how many treasures are left. See, from the save point, I think we have to go to, down into the west. Okay. Magic time. Here we go. All right. In fact, with her, I'm going to show you guys the falcon rune real quick. Um, what was I saying, though? Oh, there's a... Uh, from the from the save point, uh, you gotta go a certain direction to go the right way. I'll, I'll talk about that when I'm done with this battle. Let's see, what are we gonna do here? I don't really want to waste a lot of my magic. Let's use King's Road. King's Road is a good one to use on random battles because you have five of them and uh, they attack all enemies, so it's really nice. Die, you motherfuckers! I think I've shown off all of this rune's ability, so I don't really have to like get all hyped up about the things that I can do with that rune now. I'm pretty sure I've already had my fun with the blue gate rune. I do have to show off some of the darkness rune though, which I will do. I know I've shown off at least the lower level spells because I had it on a different person before. And I think that's our first question mark ornament we've picked up. I'll have to show that off later. Silver shield, huh? Can Freed use that? Oh, Anita can use that. Give it to Anita. Hell yeah. Anita Apple Bomb. You gotta turn me on. I said Anita Apple Bomb. I said you gotta turn me on. Anita, Anita, Anita. The, the encounter rate here is not being very nice to me. It really isn't. Kill all anime Asian chicks. Kill them all. The fact that they carry stabs, staves, stabs, staves, bows, whatever you want to call those. Uh, they remind me of a of couple of characters from Sukaden One, mainly the main character. Anyways, it's highly recommended that you save it at the save point, especially if you're worried that you're not gonna win this next boss battle coming up. Um, to be honest, I even though I am slightly worried, I'm just gonna go for it and not waste your time watching me save the game. Where's ah oh, damn it? I was hoping that was the correct way. There's two paths here. One has a treasure, and I went the wrong one. The lower one has a silver lit, which is a cool accessory that I will equip on. Oh, wow. Who do I want to put this on? I'll give it to Sheena, since Sheena's got, like, nothing. Green salad. You know what? Screw your green salad. Actually, I'm going to use the green salad. What the hell? Why not? Um, give him the boots back. By the way, uh, we already established that Sheena's a dude, right? But... Does he not look like a girl? I mean, in Sukaden 1, he looks even more like a girl, but in Sukaden 2, his 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 little avatar or whatever even looks more like a girl, I think. Uh, or not more, but I mean, it still looks like a girl. And his name was Sheena, so you can't blame me for the, if the first time I played this game, I thought Sheena was a girl on first sight. Once I learned more about the story, I realized he was a dude, but when I first played this man, I thought he was a woman. Sheena the woman. He's got a name like Sheena. What the hell was that noise? 
Uh oh. It's a giant capitilla. It's called the worm. And look at he looks like he's doing the worm too. Look at how his little motion in the ocean that he has. Anyways, this boss can be quite irritating, but if you can, the best course of attack here would be to somehow unbalance this guy. Unbalancing the this worm. Uh, it's you can you can um, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is you can unbalance this worm, and it's pretty friggin' effective because when you unbalance things, they can't attack, and it lasts for at least two turns. So any force of action that can make the fucking worm become unbalanced, awesome. Did I show off this rune yet? I think I have, right? The one that hits all enemies and all allies a little bit. I'm just going to utilize it on the first turn, and that way I can heal next turn. Hopefully he doesn't do something to kill off all my party members right now. I'm a little worried. I didn't realize it was going to do that much damage to my party. Anyway, I think I've leveled up enough to make this uh, a very doable battle now, so let's hope that he doesn't kick my ass completely. Yeah, go Sheena. Yeah, go Freedy boy. Don't kill me, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. He attacked Freed and Ryu. That's the best. That's the best. And luckily, unlike most bosses we've been fighting lately, he doesn't get two turns in a row. Which pretty much every boss that we fought so far has gotten two turns in a row. Now, I'm tempted to use one of these. You know what? Let's go ahead and use Earth, an Earth Rune thing. I don't know if I've even used Earth Rune yet, let alone had anybody who had one on. I don't even remember. Alright, so we have... Wait, what did Black Shadow do? Ah, I wasted. Ah, whatever. Final Bell does one to... 500 to one row. Shredding does 450 to all E. And Pale Palace. Let's go ahead and show you one of each, right? Why not? Why not? I probably showed you some of them already, but let's just show one of each. I mean, we have three of them. Oh, and don't forget, I put a double beat on Stallion if I forgot to remind you of that. I think you've been watching him shoot twice this whole time. But I just reminded myself by seeing it happen. Die, you worm, you big worm. Eat my final bell, bitch. Boom, son. 700 damage. B E A U to fell. I'm not sure which of my magics would do the most, but 700 is pretty damn good. And that is our canopy defense we're putting up. Hopefully, if he tries to bust out some magic on us, we will block him. Usually, the magic defense always is kind of a. Uh, iffy. It's always random when it works. You just kind of have to hope that it works when you need it to work. But yeah, based on the damage he's done to me so far, which is uh, negligible, I have great faith I can still win this. I'm just always worried that he's going to bust out one move that's going to ruin it. And that body slam move that he's doing is not the move. If he's going to keep doing that, I got this in the bag already. He might as well give up and go home if that's all he's going to do to me. Like, not even kidding right now. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Ryu can just attack because right at this point, we're good. I'm going to go and show you a shredding now. Let's see if shredding does good damage to this bitch. Oh! Oh! Stallion, you're a pimp shit. What the? How did it die so easily? My god. I don't remember that being so goddamn easy. I'm sorry for trying to hype up that boss battle like it was going to be difficult, but goddamn. I used to have trouble with that boss battle. I don't know what happened, but goddamn did I destroy it. Well, shit. I believe this is going to be the end of this place then, because I'm pretty sure there's only two screens after you beat that thing, and then we're out of the forest. But yeah, it's a pretty long forest, as you can see. Even though it's pretty straightforward, it's still long. And strong, and it's down to get the friction on. And all my characters are about to hit level 40, which is always awesome. But yet, we still have to run into random battles like crazy. Damn you, random battle. Damn you! I guess it's not so bad. I need all the money I can get, man. If I'm going to upgrade weapons as much as I want, I need all the money I can get. So here we are, the Toran Republic border. It's Varkus. You should recognize the name from Sukadin 1. I'm kind of sad they did not use his facial sprite, but this is the same Varkus from Sukadin 1, if you were wondering. Hey, who are you? Where do you think you're going? We are on our way to the Toran Republic. Then it seems we have a problem. I am Varkus, chief of the Border Patrol. I can't allow outsiders to pass through here. On what business do you seek to enter Toran? And of course, Sheena is going to pop out here and do do his little thing. 
Chill out, Varkis. This is Ryu, the leader of the G-Force Army. He just needs to see my dad. Just say it so nonchalantly, because, you know, he's just the fucking president. I understand the situation, but I can't let city citizens to freely rent to the Republic. Allow me to escort you to Greg Minister, or Greg Minster, the capital of the Torian Republic. I have a bad habit of calling it Greg Minister, but it's Greg Minster. There's no extra I in there. Really? Well, thanks. How about it, Ryu? Sounds good to me. If you say you wouldn't like that, he just won't let you in. Yeah. Then come along this way. Thanks, Varkis. Yes, well, I'm sure President LePant will want to meet you, too. Sure he will. Yeah, this is probably the one disappointing thing I find in this uh, Sukaden 2 game after Sukaden 1. I was so excited that I thought I was going to get to explore the area from Sukaden 1, but needless to say, the only place you get to go is Gregminster. But you do get to explore the entire town, which I will show off in a minute. Please wait here. Now this is this should get, be giving you flashbacks if you played Sukaden 1. This whole sequence right here. Because this is pretty much how Sukaden 1 kicks off. You're in this room right here. To think that we're in the Scarlet Moon Empire, I mean the Toran Republic, it makes me nervous. Shut up, Freed. Huh? I can't believe he's keeping his own son waiting like this. Sheena, it seems like you pretty much deserve it. I, um, I'm a little nervous. I wonder where the, uh, the, where the bathroom is. <laughs> oh, God. Freed... Freed, you pathetic bastard. Sorry to keep you waiting. Please follow me. Oh, all right. Let's go. I'll, I'll be okay. Sure you will, Freed. Um, make sure you don't clench too hard. You might shit out your intestines, you stupid bastard. Please come in. The president is waiting. All right, so into the presidential chambers we go. And you'll probably recognize some faces here. If you look around, I'll... I'll I think they're going to talk, so I'll just mention them when they say something. Well met, G-Force Army Leader Lord Ryu. And if you'll see, LePan's got a sweet mustache. You'll probably enjoy that. As president, I welcome you to Toran Republic. Now, what would you like to discuss? Uh, we want to forge a, a state with you? Yeah, that's a s fucking shitty translation. I think he means forge an alliance with you. And uh, LePan's not so sure. Lord Ryu, when this land was ruled by the Scarlet Moon Empire, we fought constantly with the city-state. Even after the Torad Republic was established, we battled the armies of Tinto and South Window, who invaded in an attempt to take advantage of our internal discord. And despite all this, you seek to form a state among such long-standing enemies. Why is it end state? Who the f translated this? That doesn't make any sense. If Luke of Blight succeeds in destroying the city-state, the Toran Republic will surely be his next target. This Luca fella certainly doesn't seem to have an unquenchable thirst to bat battle. Did I say he doesn't? Does seem to have an unquenchable thirst to battle. As a citizen of South Window, I fought against you with Lord Grandmire, or the Grandfather. Naturally, it's hard for me to ask for your help. But Luca Blight seeks nothing less than the destruction of all citizens of the city-state. I will do anything for the people of the South Window. People of the South Window. So please, I beg of you, please consider our request. God, I hate the translation in this part. It's just terrible. It just brings me back to Sukaden 1 and how terrible that translation was. Lord Ryu, why do you continue to fight? To defeat Luka, to put an end to the war, or because you don't even know. I don't think your answer truly matters here, but let's just go with the cliche, we gotta end the war, bitch. You are much like him. I may be the president of the Toran Republic, but there's a young man who should be sitting on this throne. He led tens of thousands of soldiers into battle and finally brought peace to our land. I see the same glimmer in your eyes that I did in his. You too represent the hopes and desires of all those who follow you. Indeed, he's referring to the main character from Sukaden 1, by the way. Tesla, how many men can we deploy immediately? Tesla is also a character from Sukaden 1. You do not get to see his face avatar, but that's him. Uh, uh, counting the Capitol Guards and, uh, the Border Patrol, uh, about 5,000 men, sir. Then there's the matter of who will lead them. General Valeria has come to Greg Minister to report from Pernu Yakuta Castle. Alan is also one of the soldiers from Sukaden 1, and the guy on the other side, Grand Seal, here he is, also from Sukaden 1. Kasumi, the Vice Chancellor of Rokaku, is also in town for military tra training purposes. God, I love the spelling. I just love it. 
Either would make a trustworthy leader for our army. Then let's call them in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Valeria and Kasumi, two more characters from Sukun in one. We're going to get to see them both. But there's a catch. It's Valeria reporting as ordered. Ah, she needs more of a badass voice if I'm going to get her, though. And then there's Kasumi. You called for me, President LePan? Tee hee. Lord Ryu, allow me to introduce Valeria, one of our Republic's six generals. Her skill with a sword is unrivaled. I am Valeria. Greetings, Lord Ryu. This is General Kasumi, Vice Chancellor of the Hidden Ninja Town of Rakaku. You remember Rakaku? We were there earlier and we got kicked out. It's nice to meet you. Please call me Kasumi. I trust both of these women with all of my heart. Lord Ryu, which would you like to accompany you? Damn. They're both so hot! So, what's it gonna be? Which one do you want? Uh, can I take both? Alright, so literally, uh, you can, if you say, uh, give me a minute, I think you can, like, check their stats and stuff. But, let me just go ahead and tell you right now. Valeria is the stronger one. She has the exact same rune as Anita. Wink, wink. The Falcon rune. Um, but, the key here is, the only reason I would pick Valeria normally is if I didn't get Anita earlier in the game and I want to get her later. Reason being, if you get Valeria and then you go talk to Anita in Banner Village, she will automatically join the army. You won't have to do the whole back and forth talking crap. So you can save yourself some trouble there. Uh, I used to do that all the time because I did not know any other way you could recruit Anita. I thought if you did not take Valeria, you could not recruit Anita at all. I honestly didn't know that. As for getting Kasumi, she's faster. She's pretty strong as well. Um... She has uh, the Shrike rune, I think is her rune. It's okay. Um, she's, like I said, she's an okay character to use. But the th reason you want to get her instead of Valeria at this point is if you want to recruit all the characters sooner in the game. And by that I mean because she's the Vice Chancellor of Rakaku, we're able to go back to Rakaku sooner rather than later. Which we will do. So I'm going to pick Kasumi for that particular reason. But you're free to choose whoever you want. Either way, you can still get all 108 stars of Destiny. Uh, Kasumi and Valeria will occupy the same star, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. I'm going to pick Kasumi, like I already said. Here we go. Thank you, Kasumi. Very well, President LePant. Lord Ryu, I will do my best to assist the G-Force Army. And so we recruited Kasumi. Yay! Now, please accept this, Lord Ryu, as a symbol of the friendship between the G-Force Army and the Torad Republic. Now, this is what we've all been waiting for right here. This is what it was all for. This is the Blinking Mirror, one of the treasures of the Torad Republic. It was used in our war for independence, but we suspect that you may have more need of it than we do. If you use this item, you will return instantly to your castle. In the absence of this rightful owner, I respectfully loan it to the G-Force Army in your care. And so we got the Blinking Motherfucking Mirror, the item that I've been waiting to get for this entire Let's Play. Good for you, Ryu. That should help you out. Well, good luck to you. Huh? Me? I'm gonna stay here. I'm out of the play money, and besides, I just hate fighting. Huh? What's wrong, Dad? Oh, God. Oh, let go! I have a request for you, Lord Ryu. Take my idiot son with you. He's not worth much, but maybe you can make a man out of him. Wh wh wait a minute! Fool, I sent you into the world on a training mission, but you just flitted it away, flitted away your time and money. Or something like that. <laughs> Learn from Lord Ryu's example and end your childish behavior, and don't come back until you do. B -b I entrust him to you, Lord Ryu. Well, I, I guess we got Sheena officially now. He does, he's not just following us anymore. Let's go, Lord Ryu. We're running out of time. What, wait, what time are we running out of exactly? Sheena, move! Fall out, soldier. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got Kasumi to go along with Sheena. You know, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Kasumi in the party, and I'm gonna go ahead and let. You know, we'll just let Anita go. I had my fun with Anita. She I used her for a boss battle. Um, the only reason I'm gonna bring Kasumi in my main party is because, you guessed it, on the way back we're gonna stop by the ninja, hidden ninja village again. But before we head back, wait. Thank you very much. Chief Farkas, we can handle it by ourselves now. I understand. Be careful. Yes, but thank you. Well, let's hurry, Lord Ryu. 
And so we can now head back. And yes, we have to walk all the way back. Even though we got this blinking mirror, which is freaking amazing, you can only use the blinking mirror on the world map. So when you're in a dungeon, you're fucked, unless you have an escape talisman. But this is not a normal dungeon because it's actually a path between two cities. So, anyways, if you talk to Varkas, he'll actually take you back to Gregminster, and you can explore the city. But we're going to save that for next time on Let's Play Sukaden 2. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.